Thank you, President. I am convinced that the Commission's tax package indicates a genuine desire to challenge the power of multinational corporations to use their cosy relationship with governments to minimise their tax payments. The era of there being one rule for corporations and another for the little people must come to an end. I am less convinced about the commitment of UK Chancellor George Osborne to the fight against tax avoidance. He may be good at pretending to do something radical in London, but in Brussels, he is doing everything he can to make sure these proposals do not become law. So I was pleased to see him calling for public country-by-country -country reporting of company profits and tax returns, but perhaps he needs to check the voting records of his own members here in this House, who recently voted against an amendment to achieve just this. As MEPs who represent small businesses and citizens who are bearing an unfair tax burden, we are tired of tax competition and even more tired of competition over tax rhetoric. We are tired of politicians who make the right noises when the latest scandal hits the headlines, but then vote to protect corporations and their sweetheart tax deals. As Greens, we are determined to end corporate tax avoidance, and as Shadow Rapporteur on the country-by-country -country reporting part of the package, I will be watching how Osborne behaves when the Commission package reaches the Council. It is then that his words will be tested with action and the British people will not forgive him if he continues to protect the corporations and his words issued in the heat of the moment are seen to mean nothing.